much for those details. Now, companies from across the world are making a beeline to India to woo local municipalities to execute the smart city program. The Obama administration has committed to develop three Indian smart cities, and Deputy Commerce Secretary Bruce Andrews is here to pitch for the smart city projects. Rituparna Bhuyan caught up with Andrews and his team, who are now targeting the entire lot of 100 cities as prospective clients for U.S.-based companies. It's been just two weeks since Venkaiah Naidu announced the list of first 20 smart cities and American companies have landed in India to explore business opportunities. U.S. Deputy Secretary of Commerce Bruce Andrews is leading an 18-company delegation to India along with other senior officials of the Obama administration to showcase their respective smart city-related technologies to prospective buyers. The U.S. will help develop Allahabad, Ajmer and Vishakhapatnam as smart cities but U.S.-based companies are looking at the entire gamut of 100 smart cities as prospective clients. We have the three specific cities that we're focusing on, but we look forward to working with all of the cities. And if there are opportunities, we clearly would like to hear about them. And from the trade mission, U.S. businesses are very excited. The U.S. Exim Bank is also looking at increasing its India-based portfolio from the current $5 billion by financing infrastructure projects in India as well as participating in the solar energy sector. But this will involve export of made in U.S. equipment to India. We realize that there are uh, energy needs beyond solar, so we can be involved in, ge in generating uh, facilities, gas-fired power projects, possibly nuclear energy. There's a lot of discussion about that between the governments, so there's uh, a lot that we can do. While U.S. companies are exploring opportunities, they're also facing challenges like mandatory domestic content norms in several manufacturing sectors. Our experience from around the world is local content requirements, while they seem like they draw on business, end up actually being counterproductive in the long term to attracting investment and getting companies to come and do business. So we have talked about that and expressed our concerns that the more open your market is, actually the more you're going to attract investment. Andrews and his team will head to Mumbai to attend the Make in India Week, after which the next stop will be Chennai. It remains to be seen if the back-to-back -back parlays lead to greater traction in inbound FDI from US to India. In New Delhi with Ritu Parnabhuyan, Arib Sherwani. And while we're talking about